Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to set up vManage for our SD-WAN lab in GNS3. So the first thing we need to do is we're actually going to need to import the appliance into GNS3. Um, if you go to the GNS3 marketplace, and you can scroll down till you see Viptela Manage. So if you click on Viptela Manage, download the appliance, go back to GNS3, import the appliance, and it's the vManage, which is next, next, and it'll tell you which files you need. So you have to go here, click download, it'll bring you to cisco.com. You need to download the appliance from Cisco. So there's no way to get it for free. You have to have um, the ability to do that. Once you have all the files, you just hit next and it installs. Um, I already went ahead and did this. Um, I have my vManage here. And the reason I already did is because the file is like, um, it's a gig or, or close to a gig. So it would just take too long for me to upload while um, doing the video. So. Here's my fee manage appliance. Um, I didn't do anything special to get it to work. Um, the vSmart, we will, oh, no, I'm sorry, not the vSmart, with the V edges, we will have to do something. But for vManage, we are good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple switches. And I'm also going to add a cloud. Okay, so. What we're going to do is make some connections. So Ethernet zero is going to be connected to this switch. Ethernet zero is going to be our, our management. Um, Ethernet one is going to be connected to this switch for kind of our internet. So th this will make more sense as we go through. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to connect the cloud on Ethernet one to this switch. So where that came from is on my GNS3 appliance, I have two adapters. Adapter one is my actual VM. So the, the VM that I'm actually connected to. And then adapter two is what I'm going to connect this cloud to. This will allow us to get to vManage. So what I have to do is start the appliance. And while that's starting, um, I'm going to console into it. But first, I'm going to pause the video just because I want to make sure my console looks big enough for you guys. OK, so now we can open up our console into vManage and admin. The default password is also admin. And it says you must set an initial admin password. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now what we need to do is select the storage device. So I'm gonna select device one. Would you like to format it? Yes. So that's gonna run and I'll go ahead again and pause the video while this runs and unpause it as soon as it completes. All right, so that took just a couple minutes and now we see our login prompt is back. So we can go ahead and log in. And now we're connected. So the first thing we need to do is set up our bootstrap configuration for vManage. So what we do is we go into config mode and we have to go into the system and let's set our host name, um, host dash name. We're just going to call this a vManage1. Now we're going to do our system IP. This is like a router ID um, and like routing protocols. So it doesn't really matter what you do it as long as it's, you know, it's consistent. You know, you have some kind of scheme. Uh, the point being, it doesn't have to be a reachable address. We set our site ID. I'll just going to do site ID as one. I'm um, sorry, site ID. And then organization name. Which in my, this is the name you set up in your uh, plug and play portal. Um, I'm going to set my clock as well to America, New York. And then I have to set up my VBOND. This also something that's set up in the portal. 
Um, this is going to be our outside interface. Um, I'll show what this means in a moment. But now what we have to do is go to VPN zero. This is our transit VPN. So what I need to do first is take Ethernet zero out because we put Ethernet zero. If you remember correctly, we put Ethernet zero back here to our management network. So I'm going to take Ethernet zero out. Go ahead and take Ethernet one and apply an IP address. I'll put it on that same, whoops, unlock this off. I'll put it on the same subnet as my VBOND. Um, and I'll do a slash 24. And then we have to make it a tunnel interface. Allow service all. I'm going to do allow service netcom and allow service SSHD as well. No shot. Okay, and now what we just need to do is we need to stay in the VPN mode and we need to give an IP route for our default route. Um, we'll say 1.1. How about 254? Um, I'll make that to default gateway. Okay, so we just have to go into VPN 512, which is our management VPN. And in this case, we're going to use Internet Ether Zero. My IP address is going to be 10080. Let's say 10. Um, actually, no, let's say 11. Make it consistent. Um, this is because my physical addre address is, or my physical network is the 10.0.80 network. And my GNS3 server is .10. So I'm going to do dot 11 for my V manage. Again, this will this will make a little bit more sense once we start getting into it. No shut. I can commit all of our changes. Commit complete. And end. now before I go ahead and actually go to the GUI, I need to do one a couple more things while I'm actually in here. What I need to do is go into the vShell, which is like the Linux subsystem. Um, and I need to generate an open SSL, open SSL gen RSA out. I'm going to call it rootca.key 2048. Okay. So now that we have a key, we're going to generate a root certificate with five years of validity. Now, this is kind of a long command. Um, I typed it out beforehand so I could just paste it in. Um, I'll put this in the description below, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a root certificate that's signed with our root CA key. And it's gonna be called root CA dot pen. So what we can do now is uh, let's do ls so I could see my key and my pem file. Let's cat the root ca.pem file. And I'm going to need this. So, what I'm going to do is copy it, I'm going to go into Notepad, and paste it just because we are going to need this in a moment. So, now what we can do is I can go to my browser. I can go to um, 10.0.80.11. And let me just make sure the interfaces are up. And 080.11 is up. All right. And sorry, that's my fault. I realized that I forgot to give a default route to VPN 512. So let me go back into VPN uh, 512, IP route, 0, 10, 0, 80. 
that one. Commit and quit. Okay, so now. Ah, now we can get there. Okay. So remember that the VPNs are just like VRFs. So a default route for VPN zero will not work for VPN 512. Okay, so now we can log in. So you can see why I had to do the cloud thing and give it two different adapters. Um, okay, so now we are in our vManage. And as you can see, we don't really have much in it. So what we need to do first, before we actually start adding things is go to administration settings. For organization name, we're gonna to need to change this. So change it to your organization. Save. The V bond also needs to be set. Okay. The next thing we need to do is do the certificate authorization. So <clears throat> this is the controller, which right now is set to Cisco automated. You can see it could also be semantic or manual. We're going to do an enterprise root CA. And here is where I'm going to paste in this. Okay. So we pasted that in. Important save. And we should be good to go. The other thing we just want to do is confirm that our LAN Edge Cloud Certificate is set to automated. Um, so this will this will allow the vManage to sign the cloud edge certs when they connect to vManage. So we're good to go there. Now the next thing we need to do is go to configuration, certificates, up here to controllers, and go to the right and generate CSR. This will generate the CSR um, for vManage, it can kind of be ignored um, because the reason it can be ignored, well, you see we have CSR generated, is if we go back in here, go to the V shell, you can see we have a new file now called vManage.csr. So what we'll do again is I'm going to copy and paste this because it is another bear of a command. Okay, and basically what we're doing is we're taking the vManage CSR file. So you can see here in the command, we're going to sign it with the root ca.pm and the root ca.key. Okay. So this creates a file called vManage.crt, which is here. And you can see it created it, vManage.crt. So what we need to do now is let's cat vManage.crt. And again, we get this string here, which we are going to need to copy. This time, all we have to do is Go in, back into vManage, go to install certificate, paste that in, install. This will take a couple seconds. In progress, success, perfect. So now we can go to configuration certificates controllers and our vManage is set up. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, on the next video, I will go ahead and install our VBOND.